Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got the LEGO MTT to review. And I think that's an amazing set. That's, to me, that's the only reason why Star Wars 1 is actually good. Like if, if there wasn't that battle with the MTTs and everything and the droid at deployment and Dark Maul, the movie would be awful in my opinion. But anyways, so let's get into this LEGO review. So I only have the set U and this sample. But I'll just show you like how big it looks. So that's all the pieces. There's a lot of pieces in that set. There's actually, I think over a thousand pieces in that set. And this is the most recent MTT that they've done. It's the 75058, but we're kind of overdue now. I think we need a new one because it's the last one was in 2014. If you look like at the AT&T, they made one in 2014 and then they made a new one in 2020. But for the MTT, the droid, uh, Try droid all these they actually never made a new one so i think we're overdue but regardless it's an amazing set i think it just looks fantastic even like well taken that it's in 2014. now i'll show you the minifigures in a close-up because there's some really nice ones when you got Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan all right so here are the minifigures as you can see you got a bunch of droids i think there's seven battle droids and one droid pilot and then you got three hero minifigures, which are the young Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Captain Panaka. I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, it's the captain in that movie. Yeah, too bad I don't have the box, but if you check the instructions, I just wanted to show you also, you got like spring-loaded shooters. I can't really like see, but they're really like, one thing I noticed is that they're really hidden. And they just look nice so look you can open up this compartment which comes from which comes from here so you can open it and then fire the spring load shooters so they're pretty well hidden and you can't really like see like the tail of the spring loaded shooter that much so i think it just looks great and i love how you can deploy those battle droids but going back to the mini figures this one's exclusive i believe the qui-gon jinn with those printed legs is as well and so is this obi-wan and yeah they're just really good mini figures very detailed for 2014 i was actually impressed and surprised because usually back in the days they weren't as detailed as they are now but these are really comparable like let's say i'd see them now i'd be like oh they're probably recent they, probably, they were probably made in 2020, but they were made in 2014. So maybe that's why also LEGO didn't make a new MTT because this one was so good and such a good version of it. And yeah, you can see right here, there's all the pieces. So I think there's over a thousand pieces. So it's a lot of fun to assemble. Oh yeah, also for the price, it's around, I believe close to 200 US. If you, if you find it for a good price. So I think I think it's a decent price. It's not nothing crazy for, for what you get. I think it's a good price, especially that they haven't made another MTT. And there's some that are like that were made in 2006 and are worth like over. Like it's crazy. I think they're worth like over 300, 350 US, something like that. So um, th I, this one's definitely the best version you can get, especially for the price. So this concludes this short review. I hope you found it helpful and it helped you decide if you like to get this set or not. Like I said, hopefully they'll make a new MTT soon. So perhaps you can just wait until they make a new one, but I'm not sure and they haven't announced any so far. So I don't think they'll release one in 2024 at least. So if, if you want one now, perhaps you want to get something like this one because it's the cheapest. Well, it's not the cheapest, but it's the best for the value. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.